Well hi folks, it's been about three weeks or so since I uh, gave you a little bit of a tour and showed you how my plants were getting on and stuff. So I'll just show you now. These are my tomatoes. I've just repotted them into four inch pots and they seem to be going okay now. Not too leggy because they can get a bit leggy on windowsill but uh, quite happy with those. They'll be going in into the greenhouse to be planted out probably early May so about three weeks now and they should be going in. And finally my chilies are starting to grow a bit. They're all quite a, quite a dwarfing variety but they're now starting to grow. They were really pitifully slow at the start because they're on a really cold windowsill, not double glazed or anything so they were getting cold temperatures at night but uh, they're perking up now. Nice and compact which is what you want for these dwarf ones. So they're alright, they should be going in just like the tomatoes probably first week in May, second week in May when it warms up and all the risks of frosts have disappeared. So we'll just go and have a quick look in greenhouse and have a look at my seedlings and how they're getting on. So here we are in this sort of half of a big greenhouse that I, I share. And some bits and pieces I, I sowed a while ago, that's my parsley. It's coming along well now in little modules. I'll put them out into like, well maybe four inch pots and then bigger ones later. S leeks in a big polystyrene box all doing well. So far these are my spring onions that I'm growing in modules and I'm going to plant them out in sort of clumps of four because like I said before I don't get much success just direct sowing them outside but if I just give them a bit of a head start and sow them like this and then I'll just plant the plug out with three or four in every three inches and they grow away a lot better these are my shallots, my banana shallots from seed now they've all got two leaves on, they'll be going out in about three or four weeks Got about 160 of those because they were so wonderful as a shallot. I decided to grow even more this year. Put a bit of a daft onion in a big pot in this greenhouse just to see how it gets on. And then I'm a bit behind a lot of people with me brassica sowing. A good two or three weeks I'd say but uh, my plot's a bit cold so there's not a big rush. They'll catch up anyway. So we've got some of these 70 day savoys apparently. You can harvest the savoy cabbage in as little as 70 days, only mini ones but uh, I just fancied giving that a try because I've never grown a savoy before due to them sort of being late maturers and my plot being so wet in winter. Got some summer purple sprouting broccoli which is supposed to be quite a new one because the early purple sprouting stuff needs the cold of the winter to make it sprout in the spring but this stuff apparently doesn't need the chill and you'll get the uh, little spears of purple broccoli in summer so trying that for the first time. Kale again, they're all just at the seed opening times. Planted some celeriac, not a, not a sausage yet but uh, I think I planted the seed a bit deep because the seed was absolutely minute. I should have probably just sprinkled it on the top rather than uh, covering it. Uh, what have we got? Greyhound lettuce, just a quick, uh, a quick lettuce, summer lettuce. New lettuce to me, no not lettuce sorry, cabbage. I'm growing this one called Multigreen, it's a new lettuce to me. It's supposed to be a bit of a frilly, a really frilly one because I used to grow one called Frisbee which was fantastic and then some supermarket chain bought the license for the seeds so you can only buy it in the shops now as a grown lettuce. Little gems again as usual and a Webb's lettuce. So like I say I'm a bit behind but uh, once the weather warms up they should fly away. So that's about it in the greenhouse at the moment. We'll just have a quick nip up to the plot and show you what's going on up there. Well hi folks, here we are back up at the plot again. Blowing an absolute gale from the west so I'll try and keep me back to it. So you might be able to hear me, maybe you don't want to anyway. This is the broccoli which is still going, it's just about finishing I'd say now because the spears are getting smaller and smaller but it's been a really good, uh, it's been a really good cropper this year. These are my overwintering onions, need a bit of weeding starting to perk up a bit now, just been that wet so I can do with getting in and just weeding in amongst them because they're not particularly like weed, don't uh, onions. These are my show shallots, growing away well now. They're the only ones I grow from, from sets these days because that's the only way you can do them for sure. This is the old marrow and pumpkin beds all dug over now. I'm trying to warm the soil up a bit with my cloches for uh, so when they get planted, I planted some uh, parsnips in here and I've never seen as many slugs. I'm not a big slug 
pellet user but needs must I'm afraid because it doesn't take much for a slug to go through a row or something as small as that so I've put some slugs pellets down and they've been massacred but otherwise I'd have had no parsnips like I say I'm not a big fan but needs must you know there's no point in being all hippie and eco ecological about it when you're going to have no food so there's no other methods work really so unfortunately slug pellets hey up what's that being invaded anyway right so uh, as the wind gets up again I'll just we'll go, we'll go over into the other bit a few of my plants and trees are just about coming out now into bud I've given this one uh, a name, I call it Bruce this this is this bush, I call it Bruce and if you wonder why I call it Bruce, have a guess answers on a postcard or Brucey should we say it right then I've planted all my parsnips and carrots in the exhibition bit here I'll just nip in and show you oh. now there are my parsnips in the barrels five foot tall barrels, there's about half a ton of sand in each one they're all through now and really they need thinning down thinning down to one which is as simple as oh, I think I'll just nip that one off don't want to be pulling them all to bits so uh, there's my uh, show parsnips hopefully we get some big ones this year and in this big box I've grown 15, I've just sown actually 15 long carrots. So we'll see how they get on. Oh. Right. Rhubarb was looking really well, starting to sort of grow some leaves. And all of a sudden it sent the big uh, flower spike up. Now, why it should do that, it's obviously not been shocked or anything over winter because it's not been cold. So, anyway, I've snapped it off there as you can see, but whether anything else will come. Here's another matter, which is disappointing because it looked quite good. This is where I'm going to grow a pumpkin this year, I think. It's where I grew my flowers last year, but they never got picked. It's just a waste of space, so... I thought I can dig it over and get, get a big pumpkin in. Just give it one more go. Digging some muck in at the moment. This is my sort of flower bed, my perennial bits, just full of poppies and iris and things like that, which are all in crocosmia. They're all starting to come up now. I don't bother weeding it because there's no way of weeding it with all the grass in between the perennials. But it just covers it up anyway. More carrots in boxes. These are really just for eating. It's just still the way I grow them. Sweet candles again as the wind gets up again. Let's have a just quick look at the this bit. There's not much going on. Potatoes again, I planted those, you probably saw the video, maybe not, but that's only 20 pots of potatoes in. Nothing emerging yet, obviously, it'll take a good two weeks for that to happen because it's still quite cold. Garlic's finally coming up. Got a few gaps actually, but it's not that they're not coming up, it's just that some are coming up a lot slower than others, but uh, at least they're straight, at least they're coming up, so that's something growing. Started to get my soil knocked up into decent condition now. Ready for planting out. Got all my cloches ready for my cabbages. Made some more this year with a finer mesh on. I'll have to put a finer mesh on this because even though it's only 10 millimeters, the little sods get through it, fly through it, the cabbage whites. And then the worst thing is they get trapped in it. So not only do they lay their eggs, they lay their eggs even more because they can't fly off. Got the old pea and pea contraption up to grow my peas up made a gutter to accept the guttering I'm growing my peas in in the polytunnel so we'll see how uh, easy or difficult that is to replant so like I said not a lot going on outside yet because everything's been grown in modules it'll just be all planted out probably in about the end of the month so we'll just have another final quick look in the polytunnel see what's going on it's just been raining incessantly again it's been doing my head in really Right then, as the sun comes out, what have we got? Well, planted my onions well, well, about 10 days ago, go now, and I think they're growing already, they're growing bigger already, look at that, that's my, one of my giant ones. 
Yeah, they are growing, look, new leaves coming, shooting on, so maybe I'll get a 10 pounder, maybe, we'll see. I'm growing some ridiculous carrots in here, I've just grown some really early and given them loads of room because I want to try and grow a really stupidly large carrot, so I am an idiot, but there you go. Onions, onions, onions still. I've now sown all my carrots, these are my long ones for sure in the barrels, did those last night. And also all the all the stump ones, they're all sown now. So it's all it's all sown, it's just just need to germinate. More giant onions. More of my show onions. That's the gutter that I planted the peas in just over a week ago. And as you can see, they're all coming up. Look. So I'll let them grow a little bit bigger than that. Let them get they get the first sort of flower open, the first leaf open, sorry. And then we'll try and slide the whole thing out. Should be a bit of a job getting it out, but we'll give it a go. These are the potatoes in pots I planted, I think it was either early March or really late February, I'm not sure. And they've all come up now, I've earthed them up a bit. Got about six inches more to earth up. So maybe we get a bit of a crop in May sometime off these, these are rocket. Just worth a try anyway, because the weather's been that warm, I wish I'd have done them about a month earlier, because we've had no frost for, yoy for yonks, really. So they're the first potatoes, really early ones indoors. A few carrots have grown in, in a pot just for a, trying to get an early crop. And I think that's about it. So not a lot growing outside, but uh, things are afoot. So that's about it, folks. See you later.